now we are going to see uh, see, see the formula uh, for 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams okay formula for measurement of mass it is measurement of mass 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams so these are the diagrams look at the diagrams this is a what is this weighing stone okay uh, weighing stone means in tamil yade kal okay so 1 kilogram is equal to 500 gram plus 500 gram that is what i have written 1 kilogram is equal to 500 gram plus 500 gram if you add together you can get 1 kilogram so 500 gram plus 500 gram you can get 1 kilogram next the diagram is also 1 kilogram so it's split into what four um, this is a very big uh, what weighing stone this is 1 kilogram so this 1 kilogram weighing stone is what split into two it means one is 500 gram and the other one is 500 gram that is what i've written one kilogram is equal to 500 gram plus 500 gram you can if you add together you can get one kilogram next is also a big weighing stone is one kilogram it's also split into four four weighing stone one is 250 gram another one is 250 gram third one is uh, 250 gram fourth one is 250 gram 250 gram plus 250 gram plus 250 gram plus 250 so altogether four 250 gram it's combined together is one kilogram okay next is a weighing balance this is a weighing balance so it is also this this is what is this this is a what a uh, left side and this is a right side so this is a one kilogram of uh, some bottle so i think some tin are uh, some tin, tin like bottles so this is one kilogram of a tin and this is it's equivalent equivalent to this what tin so that is two that means two uh, tins are kept it there two tins are kept there two tens are kept there in the right side balance okay this is a weighing balance this is a left side this is left side and this is a right side so left side uh, it is a heavier object that is one kilogram of a tin it's kept there and this is a right side uh, right side weighing balance so it's you have to keep equally you have to keep the uh, what uh, tens equally according to the heavier object that means one kilogram is equal to 500 gram plus 500 gram so this is one kg of tin this is two 500 gram of tin two 500 gram of tin two 500 grams of tin so one kilogram is equal to two 500 grams i've already written one kilogram is equal to what two 500 grams two for that means two 500 grams is equal to one kilogram that is what this object is one kilogram of tin and this left side weighing balance i kept one kilogram of tin and right side weighing balance i kept two gram of what uh, two gram of tin two gram of tin so this is two tins i kept two tins each uh, tins what each tin each uh, tin weight is 500 grams 500 grams okay i'll repeat this is left side weighing balance this is right side uh, weighing balance left side weighing balance i kept one kilogram of tin and right side i have to uh, what um, keep the equal the equal amount of equal amount of tins i have to keep it here so i kept how many tins so one kilogram means i have to keep two tins i have to keep two tins so each tin um, each tin measure each tin weight is 500 gram each tin measurement is 500 gram one tin is 500 gram another tin is 500 gram this is 500 gram and this is 500 gram. so if i add together i can get one kilogram of tin this is 500 gram plus 500 gram so two tins of or two tens of 500 gram is equal to one kilogram of tin one kilogram is equal to what thousand grams this is the formula mark the number of weights required mark the number of weights required this is 750 grams so this is 750 gram of books so this is two kilogram this is one kilogram of weighing stone two kilogram of weighing stone these are all weighing stones so two kilogram one kilogram 500 gram 500 sorry 500 gram 250 gram 100 gram 100 gram 100 gram these are the weighing stones are what arranged in the or arranged in the particular place so two kilogram 
1 kilogram 500 gram 250 gram 300 grams are given okay this book weight is 750 gram so i have to mark the number of weights okay so 750 grams mean first i have to mark the 500 gram next i have to mark the 250 gram so 750 gram is equal to sorry gram is equal to 500 gram plus 250 gram this is the answer okay next question 2 kg and 600 g 2 kg and 600 g so 2 kg is a carton box it's full of apples okay 2 kg and 600 g so this is also they are given the they are given the weighing stones 2 kg 1 kg 500 g 250 g and 100 g again 100 g and again 100 g so 2 kg 1 kg 500 g 250 gram 300 grams weighing stones are given so i have to mark the right weight okay 2 kg 600 gram so first i have to tick the 2 kg okay next is what this is 600 gram so i have to tick the 500 gram then i have to tick the 100 grams so this is the right answer so i mentioned the underline the what numbers also so you can understand very clearly this is first diagram 750 gram 500 gram i underline and 250 gram i underline so this is 2 kg and 600 gram so that means 2 kg weighing stone plus what is this 500 gram weighing stone plus 100 gram weighing stone is a right answer okay the next is 3 kg 350 g okay it is a uh, it's a what it's like a um it's like a bag okay it's like a bag so it is full of vegetables okay i think so it's full of beetroot okay 3 kg and 350 g this is the last sum so first i have to mark the right weighing stone 2 kg then 1 kg so 2 kg underline 1 kg and 350 g so 250 g and i have to put a tick on the top then what 100 g because 350 g so answer is 2 kg plus what is this 1 kg plus what is this 250 g plus 100 g so 2 plus 1 3 3 kg 200 g 250 g plus 100 g 350 g so 3 kg 350 g 2 kg plus 1 kg 3 kg 250 plus what 100 you can get 350 g is right here 2 kg 600 g 2 kg is correct and 600 g 500 g plus 100 g you can get 600 g 750 g 500 g plus 250 g this is a right answer i think so you understand mark the number of weights required and that's all mass of what that is sorry measurement of mass and measurement of weight is over already we've seen measurement of length i'll tell you the formula later i write all the formulas on the board next class thank you